In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable all text or custom text imports or .ttf text files imported to your computer to show up in Fusion 360. Firstly, I want to thank you, uh, Summit Shaven 30 for coming up with this. The solution is, if you've imported a .ttf font into your computer and it will not show up in Fusion, these are the steps to take to get it to show up. So go to File, go to View, Show Text Commands. Alternatively, you can do Control-Alt-C. Hit that. On your bottom right, there's a text py and js. You want the txt selected. You want to select the box at the bottom left, very bottom, and you want to type this command. I'm going to have it in the description so you can copy and paste. Sketch text writing system space slash a n y or any. Hit enter, and there you go. You're all set. Control Alt C. I was actually in the program. And now any text you import uh, .ttf will actually show up and we'll do a sketch on this plaque, for example, text. And I'll show you what happens. So Fusion 360 can see .otf text files or font files, right? It can see them. As you can see, I have area stencil, which is an OTF. It can see them fine without changing any of those commands that we did there just then. So if you actually are finding cool text, don't waste your time doing the OTF because it will show up, but it won't work. So what I mean by that is, hello, one, two, three. You know what I mean? Like, uh, let's say we want to do that in this font that shows up without uh, enabling all the rest. Right click, press pull. It will not work. It just will not work on anything. Cannot complete extrusion. So double click, get back in there. And now we want to find one that is a .ttf black ops one. Okay. So now, since you've enabled that, since it will show up after doing that command, you can now hit okay, press pull. And there you go. Stenciled font for your 3D printing needs on a plaque. So you actually have like everything held together still looks good. That's it. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Also appreciate the, the folks over on the Autodesk forum for the solutions and all that good stuff. Have a good day guys. See ya.